All right, guys, quick update today. Uh, just working on the radiator section and uh, all the ducting to get the radiator ducted in. I've got um, the radiator duct points here to uh, capture the air, the high pressure air. So we're gonna get the high pressure air in through here um, to get it around the corner as well, because there's a, there is a corner here on the side of the uh, body here. I'm gonna have um, either an air deflector through here to push it straight back into that catch an area there or um, I'm going to have VGs on here to try and uh, suck the air around which it shouldn't be too bad uh, also because I've got the prop basically sitting right at the other side so low pressure area anyone who understands the fluid dynamics of uh, air low pressure area through here uh, high pressure area in the front so we're going to pressurize that, completely seal it all the way around with a um, like a rubber fireproof seal all the way through. And then the radiator will be bolted on. So the only way for that air to escape this high pressure area is to go through the radiator. So what it's designed to do is uh, from the front, basically suck it through, through the back pressurize this section and slow the air down. So basically um, with uh, radiators on aircraft, it's very, um, very important that everything is sealed because you, what you want to do is the, the air is going to take the least path of resistance. So any, any holes we've got through here, um, basically what we want to make is the radiator as the least, least path of resistance. So uh, that's why it's gonna be completely sealed all the way around. So essentially that air pressurizes in here, pushes through. Now, because I've got one on each side, so I've got a duct on each side of uh, the aircraft, which is basically this one. I'm working on this side now. We'll get around there to put it in. Um, I'm actually gonna have a splitter in the center, inside here a splitter, and I'll show you on the other side, um, and the reason for that. So that's where we're at. So um, just finishing off a few little things around the engine, the uh, firewall section underneath the engine, and the drain point for the oil, all that sort of um, stuff I'm getting done and finished. Radiator mount point through there. Props just sitting there. I haven't finished the gearbox just yet. I'm waiting on uh, a couple of bits for that, just with what's going on. Um, Freight-wise, it's pretty slow. So we're waiting on bits and pieces there. Um, but basically this side is gonna have the exact same uh, duct going in. So basically in through there. But because I have got uh, air coming in the other side and this side. What I don't want to happen is the actual pressurized air to equalize and not push through the radiator. So to get out of that um, issue, I have a divider going right down the center with a, a rubber foam uh, fireproof section. And basically it will, it's a divider. So it's gonna divide that whole section into two ducts, one one side, one the other, and 
the only way to go for the air is to go out through that radiator. So I'm forcing it in one direction only and that's through, through that. So cooling definitely can be challenging when you're talking aircraft, you're running such high uh, RPMs and um, fairly lightweight small radiators uh, purely for the weight advantage, but uh, the challenge is getting the air through it um, and getting it through efficiently and slowly. So basically uh, you wanna slow the air down in the front, pressurize it, slow it down, push it through the radiator. And that, what that does is as it's going through slower, it picks up heat and takes heat away from the radiator. So that's how um, you've got the heat transition through. Um, and, and what we have here automatically is the prop here, which is a pusher, which is actually sucking. So we're getting a low area of pressure through here, positive pressure through the front, should work trick. This is the exact same radiator I used on the cruiser as well. I had an underbelly mount on the cruiser with a pressurized front. Uh, you can check that out in one of my engine videos on uh, the Subaru installation. So this again, I'm going the same, um, going the same Subaru, but turbocharged. You can see there I've got um, intercooler, blow off valve, um, internal wastegate. And uh, I'm gonna have a two and a half inch exhaust out. So uh, I'm gonna make that as well. So we're gonna actually make the exhaust headers, uh, the intake into the turbo, the exhaust out of the turbo into a uh, turbo muffler and then out completely. And what I'm thinking I might try and do is I actually wanna get this exhaust out of the prop wash. So I'm actually gonna, um, from, the, from up here because the exhaust is gonna come from there. I wanna put it through a, a exhaust uh, muffler and then run the, the pipe out and I might kick it out underneath down the bottom there. Because when this prop's turning, it acts like a big disc and all the exhaust noise will hit that and reflect back. What I want it to do is to uh, go underneath so we can push it away out the back, hopefully. So that's the latest on the update. Um, getting this done, just playing around bits and pieces, just fiddly stuff, but uh, we're getting there. So uh, if you want to try and line up some holes, some of the uh, simple methods I use, one is you screw in a bolt with a point on it and you can tap it, which lines up the hole. I need to drill a hole in here. Or what you can do is what I've done with these ones, just a bit of Prussian blue paste. Put it on there and uh, push it up against it and there you go. You can see where I need to drill the hole. So all I do now is just pull that off, drill it in the center and we're good to go. That's the stuff I use. the back of the radiator section 
So all I've got to do is um, deburr and rivet everything, but radiator goes on. I've got a, a rubber that goes in between there. I've got the divider in the middle uh, with the rubber. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.